Hello and welcome to GeForce. I'm Julian here with Latish. We're going to talk about Watch Dogs Legion. So, Latish, this was a game that made a big splash at E3. The third entry in the Watch Dogs franchise about hackers versus surveillance states. Why do you think this game got so much attention? I think people didn't see us coming, you know, and it was exciting for us because we brought something special to the table. And so as a series, like in Watch Dogs Legion, the main thing is that you are building a resistance in a near future version of London, which people haven't seen before. And you are going up against a rise of an authoritative regime, and it's up to you to build that team. I think people are generally excited because of the freedom of choice that we offered. So every single person you see in the world is a potential operative for you. So it's up to you to find them, to hack them, to recruit them, to solve their problems and help them join your team and anyone that you pick can become the uh, hero of your game and the star of your story. That's such a unique concept. Yeah. You know, I've never seen a decentralized game where any character could be you and, and you grow and it just organically adds more people to it who have their own stories. You guys really swung for the fences yeah. trying to make something that no one's ever made before. And then on top of that, yeah. you guys decided we're also going to implement Absolutely. ray tracing. Absolutely. And so, you know, for NVIDIA, that's yeah. what we have to talk about next. Yeah. And I want to know, yeah. when did you guys decide that ray tracing had to be a part of your game? I think the moment that the NVIDIA team went up and showed RTX, and we were just like, oh my god, we have to get this. Like, our team was begging to get involved with NVIDIA because we were super excited. And for us, it really felt like a, a next step, like a paradigm shift in how visual rendering and quality can be pushed. We always thought like it was gonna look good, but we didn't realize how good it was gonna look. And the term that I started using it, it was really, truly breathtaking, you know, to seeing our version of London come to life, like we've never seen it before. And so all the assets were always there. And when you start moving around and RTX is enabled, now it's on for me like, okay, we, we should only look at the game with RTX on. Like it, it looks so good. And not only with the reflections everywhere and everything comes to life, it's also in gameplay. That's what I found really surprising. An example is like, we built all these awesome drones. You know, we build news drones and construction drones. So now when you fly around London with Arctic on, you see the lights hitting all the reflections and popping up. That kind of stuff adds a lot of flavor and like, and the fact that now we can simulate light rays and know exactly how they're gonna behave. The team did an amazing job and I think RTX does it like a true justice in terms of, you know, the work that the team put in. So even from the operatives, you know, we have emissive materials on their outfits. The masks really get highlighted because you know like masks are a big part of our game for the resistance. And so each one of those elements, just seeing it come alive, it's it's amazing. It's like I was saying, it's just breathtaking to look at it. Well, I really enjoyed past entries in the series. Yeah. This one though looks like you're going ten times above and beyond what you've done in the past. Mm -hmm. When is the projected launch date for Watch Dogs Legion? Right, so we're out uh, March 6th and of course with NVIDIA for our RTX. Well, thank you guys for tuning in here on GeForce. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel or follow us on social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, at NVIDIA GeForce. That is your chance to win one of many RTX GPUs as well as a bunch of other prizes. So stay tuned, good luck, and I'll see you next time on GeForce.